Good morning. It's time for our daily devotion. Uh, we've talked about invisible people. We've talked about hurting people today. We're going to talk about negative people. Uh, and immediately, I know as soon as I said negative people, uh, somebody popped into your mind, right? Uh, because all of us have those negative people in our life. And they have a tendency to pull us down and to drag us into their pit of despair. And if we're not careful, uh, we'll end up just as negative as they are. So how, as Christians, as believers, do we deal with negative people? I want to give you three little guidelines today that I think will help you and hopefully help them as well. First of all, when it comes to negative people, you have to limit your exposure. Uh, one of the problems is that negative people like to dump on other people and uh, so they like to spend time telling you everything that's wrong with the boss everything that's wrong with the people at church everything that's wrong with their job that's wrong with their family that's wrong with their house that's wrong with their dog uh, and uh, telling you all those bad things takes time and they love to spend time with people uh, giving them all the bad news uh, you have to make a decision as a person who doesn't want to be affected by all that negativity to limit your exposure to negative people. You just have to put some boundaries on how much time you are going to spend with people uh, who pull you down. You know who they are. You know the people that you feel worse after you've been with them than before. Uh, and when there are people like that in your life, you've got to limit your exposure. Secondly, you've got to lay down some boundaries when you are with them. Some of them you can't help but be around. They live in your house. Uh, they work in your office. You go to school with them. Uh, and they are going to be in your life to some extent. You don't have to give them extra opportunity and extra time because you're going to limit your exposure. But when you are with them and when you have to be with them, you're going to have to lay down some boundaries. And, and you might say something like this with a smile on your face and, and the kindest way you can. Uh, you know, I've noticed that you have a tendency to be a little negative. And I've also noticed that when I allow you to be negative around me, that tends to make me more negative. And I, I don't really want to be that way. So when we're together, I mean, when we are sitting at the same desk or at the same dinner table or when uh, we are working together on a project, when we're together, I'm just going to have to lay down some boundaries. You can't be negative around me. Please don't tell me everything that's wrong with everybody in your life. Please don't tell me all the intimate details of all the sicknesses in your life. Uh, please don't tell me uh, about this or about that that's, that's drug you down and that, that you're unhappy about. Please don't tell me about all the political things that you've got to gripe about. Uh, I'm just going to have to lay some boundaries down and tell you that when we're together, I'm not going to listen to that. And if you start, I'm going to hold up my hand. I'm going to say, stop. Can't do it. Can't listen. Uh, you just have to lay down some boundaries. So limit your exposure. Uh, spend limited time around negative people. Lay down some boundaries and let them know that you're just not going to allow them to do that uh, to you anymore. And then lastly, you've got to love them, but don't enable them. Don't listen. Don't participate. When you allow a negative person to dump on you all the negativity of their life, what you're saying is, uh, I'm going to allow you uh, to come into my home or to come into my space or to come into this part of my life. And I'm going to allow you to just bring all your trash and dump it on my kitchen table. I'm going to allow you to bring all of your trash and dump it on my workspace. I, I'm going to allow you to bring all your trash and dump it in my living room floor. That's what you're saying to people when you allow them to come and, and fill your home, your work, your family, your mealtime with negativity. And you just have to say to them, I love you. I care for you. I work with you. We have to be together some, but I'm not going to enable you. I'm not going to give you permission to be that way around me. As a matter of fact, I am not going to give you permission to be that way when we're together. And so I love you. I care for you. Uh, I, I want to invest in your life. I, I want us to be friends, but I'm not going to enable you to do that to me anymore. So you limit your exposure. You lay down some boundaries you love, but you don't enable. Is that hard? Absolutely. It's hard, especially if you have a long standing relationship with someone who has constantly been negative in your life. But I guarantee if you do these things, two things, one of two things will happen. One is uh, if they're genuinely concerned about their negativity and they want to get better, they will get better 
when they're with you because of these three guidelines. They'll realize that they can't spend time with you. If they're negative, they'll understand that they can't cross these boundaries that you've set. And they understand that they, they are loved, uh, but you're not going to enable them. Or if they're the kind of person who wants to be negative, who wants to continue on that trend, who enjoys dumping on people, who wants to be a downer, then what's going to happen is they're going to spend less time with you because you won't allow them to be that way around you. And believe me, that'll be a blessing for you. And if they don't want to change, they're not going to change and you won't change them. But if they really do want to be better, if they don't want to be that negative person, and maybe some people don't even realize how negative they are, uh, I know that's true with some folks, uh, perhaps these guidelines and these boundaries will help them to be positively influenced by you instead of you being negatively influenced by them. Now, go make it a great day. I'll see you next time.